In this video, I'm gonna show you the benefits and side effects of protein shakes. Everybody's heard of protein shakes nowadays. They're advertised as an effective way to give your body a hit of nutrients, with protein, of course, being the key focus to help you perform better at the gym and maintain a healthy lifestyle. On the surface, protein shakes look like a win-win all around, but like any natural health supplement, they have their side effects. Generally, protein shakes don't come ready-made up. You'll more often find protein powder, which you can batch buy from health stores and mix with water, milk, and any other ingredients of choice to make your shake. Protein shakes can be plain or flavored to taste more appealing. They're quite useful for fitness lovers as you have complete control over your portioning. And really, you can do whatever you want with your protein powder. Some people even add it as a topping to their sweet and savory meals or bake it into snacks. When it first became a thing, protein powder was typically animal sourced called whey protein. Nowadays, you can get all different types of protein powder, including powders free of animal products like soy protein, hemp protein, pea protein, and rice protein. No matter which protein powder you use for your shakes, they tend to all have similar benefits and side effects. If you're looking to include protein shakes in your daily diet, or you're already using them and just want to know more, this video will explain everything you need to know about their benefits and side effects. First, on to the benefits. You'll most likely hear about the benefits of protein shakes from fellow fitness enthusiasts and the developers of the protein shakes themselves. These include, number one, Muscle growth. Whether you're looking to bulk up or you just want to be toned, protein shakes can help you to achieve your gym goals. Toning is a lot harder than weight loss, not only because of the huge commitment you'll have to make to strength training, but also because your diet may be preventing your muscles from growing rapidly. To gain muscle mass, you need to be taking in an excess of dietary protein, which contains the amino acids that the muscle tissues in the body need to build and repair themselves. Protein shakes offer an easy way to do this. Number two easy source of nutrients. How hard actually is it to meet your daily nutritional needs? You only have to look at the eat well table to realize that including every single beneficial nutrient in your diet on a daily basis is near impossible. The good thing about some protein shakes is that they include more nutrients than just protein and act as a sort of general health supplement while giving you your protein boost. Of course, with protein being the main ingredient, if you struggle to meet your daily protein needs, Protein shakes can usually offer a significantly high protein content per serving. Number three, lowers your blood pressure and reduces heart disease risk. One study found that people who had a high blood pressure experienced more than a six point increase when they supplemented their diets with whey protein. It's thought that while protein shakes can't all out cure low blood pressure, if they're used regularly in a person's diet, they may be an effective part of a blood pressure reduction plan. Number four, weight control. One thing many people don't realize is that protein is more satiating than carbs and fats. So if you're taking in a higher amount of protein in replacement for other food groups, you'll find that you can stay full and satisfied for longer. One recent study conducted on overweight women and men found that both genders managed to lose more overall weight and fat mass when they supplemented their diets with whey protein compared to those who didn't. Number five, fantastic source of on-the-go nutrition. How many times have you been in a rush but hungry and ended up going for the easiest and closest food option, like biscuits, crisps, sweets, and other empty calorie foods. The problem with these foods is that they haven't got much substance to them. So even though they might make you feel satisfied for a short time, it won't be long before you're starving again. Protein shakes, on the other hand, can help to fill that hunger hole a lot more effectively. And a definite bonus, they take seconds to make up too. Number six, effective even while you sleep. How much of the science behind your workouts do you really understand? It might come as a surprise to you that actually, you don't build muscle while you're hitting up the weights at the gym. You cause damage to your muscles. It's the growth and repair of these muscles that happens during rest that is when muscle growth typically takes place. Scientists have found that drinking a protein shake before bed can help increase your rate of muscle protein synthesis and recovery, helping to speed up growth and get you back in the gym faster. Number seven, you'll lower your cholesterol. Although you're obviously not going to be taking protein shakes to manage your cholesterol levels, studies have found that whey protein in particular is incredibly effective at helping to lower cholesterol. It's probably not quite at the levels of success to be replacing any cholesterol medications anytime soon, but there's still evidence to suggest that supplementing with a whey protein shake might be a positive lifestyle change to get you back on the right track. Now let's take a look at the side effects of protein shakes. 
There has been some bad press around protein powder recently, especially whey powder. Here's what scientists have uncovered. Number one, kidney stone formation. One of the risks you get from consuming whey protein is kidney stone formation. It's unclear yet whether protein powder is a direct cause of the issue, but evidence suggests that protein powder might worsen the condition in patients already suffering from it. If you do struggle with kidney stones, make sure you're getting enough dietary fiber and water when you're supplementing with protein shakes. Number two, improved risk of gout. Again, there's no clear evidence that whey protein is a direct cause of gout, but there is some to suggest that it can worsen the problem if you already have it. You'll be best consulting your physician before you start taking whey protein if you struggle with gout yourself or you have a family history of the disorder. Number three, diarrhea. If you excessively take whey protein, you might have to deal with the odd embarrassing side effect or two, like bloating and excess gas. Some people even find that supplementing with too much whey protein can cause diarrhea, caused by the effects of the protein in the digestive system. If you do experience diarrhea from whey protein use, cut down on your consumption, and you should be fine from then. Number four, liver problems. Diarrhea might be an embarrassing issue to deal with, but there are plenty of more dangerous side effects of consuming whey protein excessively. Some people have reported liver problems from overconsuming the protein, so be aware of exactly how much you're taking if you want to keep your liver healthy. Number five, increased osteoporosis risk. Osteoporosis, a disorder that causes weak and brittle bones, has been linked to excessive intake of whey protein. You're especially at risk of this if you're using the protein excessively on a long-term basis. It's thought that too much whey protein can lead to a mineral imbalance in the bones, which can ultimately lead to the depletion of the density of bone minerals. Number six, excessive fat gain. It might sound unbelievable, considering protein powder can help you to lose weight faster, but the issue with some whey protein supplements is that they contain extra fats, sugars, and carbs, which will have a detrimental effect on your whole purpose of supplementing with the powder. You're most likely to find excess sugars in protein shakes that are flavored, so be aware of which to go for when you're making a purchase. Number seven, wheezing. It's quite common to suffer an allergic reaction to whey protein, especially if you're lactose intolerant. While it might be scary to experience any sorts of allergy symptoms from whey protein, they're generally not life-threatening. If you notice you're having any difficulty breathing, stop taking your protein shakes immediately. You don't want to damage your health while you're trying to make a healthier change to your body. Number eight, increased digestive issues. We've already mentioned lactose intolerance, and consuming whey protein can cause more than just wheezing in people who can't digest the sugar. Whey protein contains lactose, and if you're unable to digest it, you might end up suffering some pretty nasty digestive problems. It's worth switching your whey protein up for something that's lactose-free if you want to keep your digestive system happy. Number nine, fatigue. Sounds ironic, doesn't it? But you might find that if you're struggling to digest whey protein properly, you might also go through adverse effects like extreme fatigue as well as weakness. When the whole point of protein powder is to give you more energy, this can be a depressing symptom to deal with. Your body might simply not be able to break down the whey protein, in which case, it's not the end of the world. Just go for an alternative and see how that one makes you feel. To conclude, if you're thinking about getting started on protein shakes, it's worth weighing up the positives and negatives and deciding what's right for you. Protein shakes can make a really great addition to any diet, but it's important that you don't use them as a nutritional replacement. If you're not getting enough protein in your diet, it's generally not a good idea to drink protein shakes to supplement what you're missing out on. Like all health supplements, some protein shakes are better than others. It's worth shopping around before you make a purchase and checking out reviews to see what people have to say about a particular brand. Try to go for protein powders with the lowest sugar content you can find. And if you're not keen on the side effects of whey protein, consider a vegan alternative. While it's not always a case of the more expensive, the better, you will sometimes find that paying more will give you a product with more nutritional benefits. So don't ignore the costlier powders. You can click here if you want more information on the best protein shakes available. Ultimately, protein shakes can have a really positive effect on your overall health, and when used carefully, can help you to achieve your muscle building goals at the gym. So long as you're aware of which brands are best for you, you should only ever get a good experience from protein powder use. I hope you've enjoyed this video on the benefits and side effects of protein shakes. If you haven't, please subscribe to this YouTube channel. And don't forget to give this video the thumbs up. And I'm sure you're going to enjoy this next video on the top eight protein foods for vegetarians. Thanks for watching and bye for now.